Welcome back everyone, I have another fun Affinity Photo compositing video for you today. I'll be using gradients to add a dramatic lighting effect to this already dramatic post-apocalyptic scene. I started with this image of a beautiful woman that I generated from Leonardo.ai. I'll leave my prompts for this and another image I'll add later in the description. The first thing I wanted to do was remove her from the background scene. So I grabbed my trusty selection brush tool from the left hand toolbar and started painting over her to make a selection. I'll over select a little bit around her hair to see if Affinity can help me with those fine details. Once selected, I'll select the refine button in the top toolbar. You can see the reddish overlay indicating the areas outside of my selection. With the matte adjustment brush selected, I'll just paint over the edges of her hair. This looks pretty good, so I'll change the output to New Layer with Mask and hit Apply to remove her from her background. All right, next, I'm going to add a gradient overlay in a layer above the woman. So I'll click on the Add Pixel Layer button at the bottom of the Layers tab to add a pixel layer. Then I'll click on the Gradient tool in the left-hand toolbar and drag my cursor from the top left corner to the bottom right. Next, I'll click on the gradient color box in the top toolbar, select the left node and use the color wheel to change the color from white to a dark red. Then, I'll reduce the opacity to about 75%. Then, I'll click on the right node and change the color to dark blue and also reduce the opacity to about 75%. Okay, the next thing I'll do is to play around with the blend modes at the top of the toolbar. I want to see which looks best. I was a little undecided between overlay and soft light, but I think that soft light is a little more subtle for what I want to do, so I'll stick with that. Then I'll just click and drag the gradient layer and drop it onto the woman layer. Okay, next I'm going to add a background image that I also generated from Leonardo.ai. So, I'll go to File and Place in the menu, select my file, and then drag it out onto my project. Oops, that looks kind of cool, but not what I wanted. It should be behind the woman. So I'll just drag the new layer and drop it underneath the woman in the layer stack. All right, now I want to apply the same gradient to the background scene. So I'll select the first gradient layer I did and I'll click Command or Control J to duplicate it. Then I'll drag and drop it just over the background layer. The soft light blend mode duplicated with the gradient so the effect applies immediately. All right, this is looking pretty good, but I want to add a bit of smoke behind the woman but in front of the background. To do this, I'll click on the layer below the woman and then click the Add Pixel Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel. Then. I'll select the Brushes panel and choose the Dreamfography brush category. This is a free add-on you can download from the Add-on tab on Affinity's homepage. It's at the very bottom of all the paid add-ons. Anyway, I'll select the Fog 3 Brush Pressure brush and then click on my paintbrush tool in the left-hand toolbar. My brush size is set to huge, so I'll click on my left square bracket key to make the brush much smaller. Then I'll set my brush color to dark gray and just paint in a bit of smoke right behind the woman and then add a bit around the buildings. This brush head is pressure sensitive, so if you have a trackpad like I do or graphic design tablet, the smoke will get bigger the harder you press. Or you can just change the brush size manually to make it bigger or smaller. All right, that's about it for today. If you learned something and want to see more of this kind of content, please click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're feeling generous, this channel runs on caffeine. There's a link to buy me a cup of coffee in the descriptions. Not necessary, but certainly appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.